Okay, that's the moon. It's a little fuzzy out here, and it's a kind of a cruddy phone, but it's slightly overcast. But what the heck is that? That's not the sun. And according to my little planet guide, it's not a planet. What the heck is that? Any help would be appreciated. Well, let me run it down to you, communist, homosexual, faggot, dipshit, motherfucker. Fuck you, that's why. Cause fuck you, that's why. Cause helmets suck, that's why. And commies like you swallow, that's why. Fuck Pete Wilson, that's why. Fuck Dick Boy, that's why. What's that? It's a bird, it's a plane. Oh, nope, it's uh, actually just uh, China going ahead and getting some surveillance on our nuclear missile silos uh, just before they kick off World War III. All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Liberty Bowl. So, yep, as I'm sure you guys have seen, um, China has basically been flying a fucking a, a, a high-altitude uh, spy balloon over the northern part of the United States for about three days now, and uh, basically the... Biden administration and the, the Pentagon officials are refusing to go ahead and shoot it out of the sky. Why are they refusing? Because the falling balloon would pose a danger to the people on the ground. All right? Yeah, not, not uh, the, the Chinese Communist Party spying on our uh, nuclear missile silos, anything like that. Nope. Yeah, it's, it's the, the falling debris that's the, that's the real threat, not the fact that China is fucking spying on us, right? So we're going to go ahead and uh, check out this article about just that, but... Before we get into that, let's get into this. Cheers. <coughs> All right, here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out this article over here from uh, the New York Post. So Chinese spy balloon tracked over northern U.S. So the U.S. has been tracking a Chinese spy balloon that has been floating over the northern part of the country for days, officials announced on, to, on Thursday. A top Pentagon official said the U.S. Intelligence Committee has very high confidence that the balloon belongs to the People's Republic of China and has been flying over sensitive sites to collect information for the past two motherfucking days. Right. The official speaking anonymously said that one of the locations the balloon has been spotted over was Montana, home of one of the U.S.'s three nuclear missile silos, silo fields at Maelstrom Air Force Base. Fighter jets, including F-22s, were prepared to shoot the balloon down at President Biden's direction, and he was presented with options after which he proposed that the balloon be shot down. But his military leaders recommended against it out of safety concerns for civilians on the ground. Right. Yeah, I, I highly fucking doubt it's out of safety concerns for fucking civilians on the ground. If anything, the only safety concern for the fucking civilians on the ground should be the fact that the Chinese Communist Party is fucking spying on our goddamn fucking nuclear fucking missile silos. Right. That's uh, I believe that's probably a bit more, um, you know, uh, you know, an actual fucking threat to uh, the people on the ground being the U.S. citizens than a fucking weather fucking balloon falling out of the goddamn sky. Right. So Pentagon Press Secretary General Patrick Ryder told reporters in a brief statement that the balloon is currently traveling at an altitude well above commercial air, tra air traffic and does not present a military or physical threat to people on the ground. Again, how does a fucking Chinese communist fucking spy balloon not pose a threat to fucking not pose a military or physical threat to people on the fucking ground. Granted, yes, I know it's just a fucking surveillance balloon. It's not like it has fucking, you know, any type of weaponry on it, anything like that. But at the same time, it's fucking, it's the goddamn Chinese Communist Party spying on American fucking military bases that contain our fucking, uh, you know, nuclear fucking missile silos and shit like that, right? It's, uh, if anything, it's, it's probably one of the greatest fucking threats to America right now, right? I would definitely consider fucking China probably a way bigger threat to the United States than Russia. Uh, granted, as you guys are aware, um, much of the geopolitical, uh, shit going on right now is very similar to what we saw with, um, with, you know, Russia and Ukraine, basically, uh, China right now is doing their, 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 uh, rehearsals. They're basically showing like, you know, they're out there chest puffing. They're uh, doing a show of force over Taiwan right now to basically show that they plan on invading Taiwan. Right. Clearly, uh, the United States 
you know, we uh, Taiwan is a is a very strategic ally with uh, to us, being as one of their main things that they produce is. Uh, you know things like microchips uh shit that we need for you know our technology right next if you know without them we're pretty much stuck at the whims of china right again china is not our friends china never has been our fucking friends and if anything this is a a, a definitely not a a friendly show of I, I don't know fucking trust between you know chinese and american uh uh you know leadership right so the defense officials said that the U.S. has been engaged with Chinese officials to communicate the gravity of the situation, which comes just days before Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is scheduled to actually go to China. All right. So the gravity of the situation is basically we are on the brink of World War Three right now with everything going on with, uh, you know, like I said, with uh, Russia and, and Ukraine. Russia is not going to forget the fact that basically we are the entire reason that this conflict has gone on this long right this technically it's a a, a land dispute between um you know the, the fucking eurasian fucking people right it's basically a land dispute between russia and a, you know the former um member of the fucking soviet union of ukraine right um yeah it's it's really a uh, kind of a local thing we really don't need to be in there but obviously um you know the biden crime family has a strategic financial ties through through the ukraine right so definitely I, we're we're not going to uh, stop funding them. If we are going to uh, fund China, I mean, um, not China, fucking uh, Taiwan, in their efforts to uh, defend themselves against China without actually getting militarily involved, we are basically going to be fighting a a proxy financial wars on two fronts: one with you know Russia and Ukraine, and one with China and Taiwan. That's going to leave us, and, and not to mention the fact that currently the United States is not in the best economic standing right now um you know inflation's through the roof um our fucking egg shortage we're having shortages all over the fucking place i was just in the goddamn store the other day couldn't find fucking cat food for my goddamn cat because the shelves are fucking empty right shelves are uh, you know empty uh you know all kinds of fucking different shit i remember there was a fucking baby food shortage not too long ago well it's about to get a whole lot worse and inflation's about to continue to skyrocket if you know things uh don't go well with this uh, conflict between China and Taiwan right now, right? So just keep that in mind, right? It's it's it. We're we're on the brink of World War Three, and we we got fucking Pentagon officials over here saying that Chinese spy balloons flying over our fucking nuclear missile silos is not a threat to is not a military or you know any type of threat to the united states at all and we're going to go ahead and continue to let them just fly all willy-nilly whenever they want all right so it does go down here to say a, a little bit later that um this has basically been going on for quite a while now so this one is from january 12th so you know a, a couple weeks back so ufo sightings rise but most are balloon-like objects and drones a government you know, the government reports so a newly declassified government report revealed that most of the 510 UFO sightings that have been reported in the U.S. are decidedly not aliens. However, scores of other strange sightings still have no official explanation. The summary report released by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence on Thursday said that the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP as they are called in the report, still pose a threat to the U.S., even if they are not extraterrestrial advanced technology. All right? So why would they pose a threat to the United States? Well, probably because they're fucking goddamn Chinese spy balloons, and this has been going on for quite some fucking time now, all right? Let's go ahead and get back to the article. So, we have communicated to them the seriousness which, which, with which we take this issue, the official said. We have made clear we will do whatever is necessary to protect our people and our homeland. You know, short of uh, closing up our borders and, you know, actually shooting down this fucking um, Chinese fucking spy balloon. But other than that, you know, we'll, we'll do everything it takes to uh, go ahead and protect our fucking uh, our homeland right okay so as i had mentioned and have been mentioning for you know you know quite a few months now we are basically on the brink of world war three with everything going on geopolitically um we are on the brink of world war three there's basically so many conflicts going on in the world right now that uh there there's basically no getting around it and uh, the United States is basically involved from the very fucking start now because of the fact that we are basically funding this, right? So whether this is part of some actual great fucking plan to uh, basically, 
you know, kind of destroy everything. So they could basically kind of do some sort of great reset or basically, you know, great restructuring of society, some shit like that, which is basically what tends to occur after world wars. Um, yeah, yeah I, I can't say for sure. But one thing that I can say for sure is that the next few years, you know, possibly even the next decade or so is looking like it's going to be a bit rough, right? Um, of course, uh, you know, all, all of us, uh, basically, uh, you know, righties or libertarian type people have basically been screaming anti-war for, uh, the, pretty much the entire duration of the Biden administration, which is, uh, basically, a the entire fucking time that the the ukraine russia conflict has been going on right so we are just we just uh, rounded the anniversary of the, the the first anniversary of russia's invasion of ukraine and um what, what are we like a couple hundred fucking billion dollars in the hole now and um it's not looking like there's any sign of stopping anytime soon as you guys i'm sure are aware russia is not the type of people to just oh well i guess we lost no nope, sorry you know, that's not going to happen. Russia is going to blow up the goddamn fucking world before they will let that happen. Right. And as we are seeing here from the United States, from, you know, from the Biden administration, they have zero intention of stopping any sort of funding or basically, you know, uh, coming to the negotiating table in any way. Uh, Zelensky has made it very clear that he has zero intention of ever coming to the negotiating table. And basically both sides are hell bent on total victory. Right. Obviously can't have it both ways either one has to win or the other has to you know either they have to come to an agreement or you know one is going to be facing total annihilation right um with the united states backing ukraine so much um obviously we're, we're not going to let that happen uh, much to the dismay of most of us because most of us want you know to see america first right most of us want to see our tax dollars going to american citizens rather than to fighting foreign conflicts that have zero to do with us whatsoever basically you know as i mentioned earlier russia is not just because russia is not directly attacking the united states right now or even posturing like they are trying to attack the united states or anything like that they still have the united states in their crosshair as much as the rest of these you know sort of BRICS nations um uh, you know, definitely China, you know, who knows where the fuck else, right? Uh, you know, all these fucking, you know, Muslim nations and shit like that. A lot of, a lot of, uh, these, uh, people around the world don't really have, uh, the, the best sentiment toward the United States and rightfully so. I could, I guess like, you know, I could say we're definitely, uh, you know, we, as you can see right now, we tend to, uh, kind of stick our fucking grubby little fingers into every single conflict that, goes on throughout the entire world right for one we're trying to push our agenda and for two wars make money right i believe there's been what like 11 years in the entire united states fucking history of a country that we have not been in some sort of uh global military conflict and um yeah it's it's uh it's, it seems like it's coming to a head right now all right so in these trying times right now there has never been a saying that has rung more true than I love my country, but I do not trust my government. Well, that's about all I got for you guys. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. You know, fingers crossed that things are going to get better. But as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure the next decade is going to be pretty much filled with wars all around the fucking world. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's I, Like I said, I don't want to fucking think that, you know, all this was planned. You know, there's some whole great reset type thing. But it was probably fucking planned. All right. Um, anyway, I appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this channel out, share this video out. Um, yeah, I appreciate all you guys. Fuck off.